So this is, uh, I'm going to talk to all of you uh, kids out there who are currently going to like tech colleges, wanting to become an automotive or even a diesel technician. I would really strongly suggest you do not waste your money going to these schools and these programs. Um, the reason why I say this, what you need to do is look at the big picture. The way the future is turning out for both the automotive and diesel industry, um, it's changing drastically. And realistically, like my generation, you know, like a 90s boomer, um, it's, I basically got into the field at the right time. And uh, I never went to any tech colleges. I never went to, uh, besides for welding, okay, that's my only exception. I never went for the automotive or diesel industry. Uh, I apprenticeshiped uh, under master technicians and I learned the, the skill and trade because that's what I'm passionate about, it's what I love. And if you're passionate and you love something, you can figure it out for yourself very easily, especially if you're intelligent. Um, and for the majority of the time, uh, the good technicians like myself that make it in this industry are extremely intelligent. Um, and then there's the part changing technicians, which we're not even gonna go on that subject. Um, but regardless, I do not recommend you invest your time and money and put yourself in an extreme amount of debt going into the automotive and diesel industries. Um, where I'm going with this is you need to look at the future. What is changing as far as technology, innovation, uh, engine development. I'm telling you right now, fossil fuels in general are going to be extinct. Probably if not completely extinct within the next 20 years. And I'll be in my 40s. Um, and that basically means all you kids getting out of high school, going into these techno tech colleges, um, they're teaching you uh, information on how to do your job that's gonna be out of date. Um, if you do love cars and you love diesels or um, heavy equipment, you need to go in as an electrical engineer. Okay, that is where you should invest your time and money. Don't waste it on your automotive and diesel industries. Okay, all your technical college. I'm not going to name any um, because that's I'm not trying to throw anyone's name under the bus. But I have seen many technicians come in that have gone to these technical schools and they spent eighteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars on their schooling to become an automotive technician or a diesel technician. And the problem is they are sort of book smart, but they can't turn a wrench in the real world. They start to learn how difficult it is to beat book times, especially if you're a flat rate tech like I am. They, and then it overwhelms them. They spend all this money in college, and then a lot of them will go out and buy, oh, here's $10,000, $20,000 worth of tools right off the bat. They can't perform the job that they wanted to initially, and then they got themselves in a bunch of debt, and they're gonna ruin their credit very discouraging um, but the reason I say you need to go in as an electrical engineer because you can still work on the automotive field in the future being an electrical engineer because everything is electronic anymore um, you need to do you know pinout tests resistance testing all of that and when all the cars are going to be electric which are going to be start seeing way more of them um, and it's already apparent even this year um, you'll be able to do the job and you can still be passionate about cars because you're an electrical engineer or electrical technician, whatever you want to go for. Um, there's going to be a lot of money involved in it and you're not going to be turning wrenches on gas vehicles. There's not going to be oil changes anymore. Maybe a bloom, once in a blue moon, you might have a differential depending on the vehicle. If they're still using diffs um, instead of direct drive electric motors, um, and you're going to be like your best friend's going to basically be like a really high end fluke multimeter. They can look at waveforms um, and frequency. That's where I would invest my time and money. And in the event that, oh, hey, you, uh, you don't want to work in the automotive or diesel industry anymore on, uh, on electric vehicles, guess what? You have an electrical engineering degree and you can take that anywhere. Um, technology is all based on electricity. If you don't have electricity, don't have energy technology doesn't function 
Um, so, so I got a couple more minutes on here. Um, that is honestly where I would direct and recommend any new um, kids out there wanting to go into these fields because you'll waste tons of money, tons of your time, and put yourself in a lot of debt for going to school for something that you're not going to uh, to use in the future. So that's pretty much all I have to say with that. So do yourself a favor and do the smart thing. And if you do still want to pursue the automotive field currently, um, instead of going to a school for it, what you need to do is invest in tools like starter tools. Go to your Harbor Freights, go to your, uh, you go online, buy Tekton tools. I love Tekton sockets. They're high quality for what you get. I'm absolutely blown away on all their new hand tools. Like you take a snap on socket and a Tekton socket with the exception of like a slightly tighter clearance on the snap on socket and uh, you know, made in the USA, there's not a hell of a lot of difference. Um, especially for the price, you'll spend 40, 50 bucks on uh, a set which got had both short and deep metric and standard in one set versus, you know, two, three hundred dollars on just a single set of shallows or deeps that you would buy through a snap-on vendor. I love snap-on, I'm not trying to bag them at all, they are the best hand tools on the market. But uh, don't, don't overburden yourself until you have the ability. And yes, a school will teach you what you want to learn um, and certain aspects of the trade, but it doesn't give you the hands-on experience. What they don't teach you is to think for yourself, and that is a big issue. Um, they teach you, oh, you need to follow the books, you need to follow the rules. Well, let me tell you that following the book every single time, you'll, you'll eventually start to figure out that you're losing your ass on your jobs, and you're not as efficient as you can be. There are ways to cut corners, but safely cut corners. Um, like say you're pulling a transmission, for example, and the book says, oh, hey, you need to do this, this, and this to remove the transmission, and it'll give you a list, you know, 50, 60 steps to remove it. Well, if you can bypass a handful of those steps, say it's something as simple as uh, instead of cradling your engine with uh, an engine support that goes over the top of the frame of the vehicle, you can just put a, a, a log of wood and jack under the vehicle instead. Okay, that saves you a little bit of time and maybe you can pull the transmission out from the top versus from the bottom having to drop a cradle on your modern front wheel drive vehicles. It's just simpler. But the moral to the story is don't invest your time or money into these technical colleges. Um, it looks good on paper, but that's all it is is paper. When you can have invested your time and actually get the same effect when you have it on paper that you worked for this company for X amount of time, you are a very skilled technician, they obviously hold on to you and they value you. That is what I can recommend. This is uh, uh, the tool full over and out. Thank you.